Hello everyone. Welcome back to this new session by Simply Learn. Today in this video, let's get to know in detail about Google Analytics 4. Google Analytics is a web analytics service offered by Google. It was launched back in 2005. It tracks and reports website traffic. From the information through Wikipedia, Google Analytics is the most used web analytics service. As per the sources, in April 2022, Google Analytics was used by 73% of the 10,000 most popular websites across the globe. However, as per the reports from Buildwit.com, 2 crore 81 lakh 52,477 live websites use Google Analytics. So now is the time to understand what has been changed in Google Analytics over the years. If you are new to Google Analytics, it's even better. Before moving forward, do subscribe to Simply Learn and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. So what makes Google Analytics so important? Google Analytics generates various types of reports and helps to track bounce rates, identify the best content of your website, record user behavior flow on your site, and many other metrics, thereby allowing you to understand and build your business strategies, thereby growing your business. Now that you have understood why Google Analytics is essential, let's check what we have for you in this video. First, we will understand what is Google Analytics for. Then, we will move forward with identifying Google Analytics version for your website. Next, we will have a detailed look at Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. We will continue by understanding success stories from Google Analytics 4 users. And finally, we will end this session by understanding the future of Google Analytics 4. So allow me to introduce the next generation of Google Analytics. Google Analytics 4, also known as GA4. Initially, Google Analytics 4 was known as App Plus Web. Google Analytics 4 is the latest analytics property with several advantages over the old Google Analytics, also known as Universal Analytics. Understanding more clearly, Google Analytics 4 can measure and keep track of website traffic as well as app usage. So now you can imagine that Google Analytics 4 is the one-stop solution for all your analytics needs. If you are still using Universal Analytics, we recommend you to get familiar with Google Analytics 4 as well. As this is the new future of analytics, we will understand creating and setting up Google Analytics 4 account in detail in the upcoming videos. Let's first identify which Google Analytics property is associated with your website. In order to identify which Google Analytics property you have, log into your Google Analytics account. Now, go to Analytics account and then open Properties and Apps. Here, you can see properties for your website. Now, below the Properties and Apps, Several properties are listed where you can see different IDs. If the ID starts with UA and ends with a number, then you have a universal analytics property. However, if ID only has numbers like here, then you have Google Analytics 4 property. We will learn how to switch the Universal Analytics account to Google Analytics 4 in the upcoming videos. Now that you have understood how to identify Google Analytics property, let's take a detailed look at the comparison of Universal Analytics data and Google Analytics 4 data. The major difference between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 is the measurement model. 
Universal Analytics uses sessions and page views as the measurement model, whereas Google Analytics 4 uses events and parameters as the measurement model. Therefore, any hit type from Universal Analytics property, say a page view, user timing, etc., are captured as event in Google Analytics 4 property. Let's see the detailed comparison of every aspect of Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. First, we go with events. In analytics, every measurable action, for example, page load, form completion, scrolls, app installs, etc., is measured as event. An event has category, label, and action in Universal Analytics. Moreover, it has its own hit type. In case of Google Analytics 4, there is no categorization. All the hit types from Universal Analytics are considered as events. Now, let's find the comparison of Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 in terms of page views. Page views is a metric defined that calculates total number of pages viewed on your website. Now let's get a better understanding of page views. For instance, when user lands on a web page of your site, the page loads. This is considered to be a page view. Now suppose if user reloads the page. Google Analytics tracks it as another page view. If the user navigates to another page of your website and returns to the same page, this adds another page view to your site. Now that you have understood page views, let's see how page views differs in Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. From Universal Analytics, page view are translated to Google Analytics 4 property as page view event. This page view event automatically gets triggered in Google Tag Manager. The next metric we have is sessions. Session is the time duration for which user is active on your website. A universal analytics session may consist of multiple page views, events, e-commerce transactions, etc. The session is considered to be ended if the user has 30 minutes of inactivity or any other event for which session end is triggered. In Google Analytics 4, session metrics are tracked from session start event, which automatically gets triggered with the basic interaction on your website. However, the session duration depends on the period between the first and the last event. Now, let's check our next metric, which is custom dimension. In Universal Analytics, custom dimension add the information to the collected data. Whereas, in Google Analytics 4, information is added through the event parameters. Moving ahead, the next metric we have is content grouping. Content grouping in Universal Analytics allows to group content into a logical structure, after which one can view and compare metrics by the group name. Now, talking about Google Analytics 4, it has predefined event parameter for content group. This parameter fills the data into content group. Moving ahead, the next metric we have is client ID. Client ID is a unique string generated randomly and acts as a pseudonymous identifier. Client ID identifies the browser instance and then it gets stored in the browser cookie. And therefore, subsequent visits to the same site are associated with that user. In both Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4, Client ID serves the same purpose. That is, the Client ID is responsible for providing the identifier. Now, let's move ahead with our next metric. Parameters. Parameters are associated with Google Analytics 4 properties. Understanding in detail about parameters, parameters 
are the chunk of information that specifies the user action. For example, parameters can be passed to describe the value of the purchase. Next we have is user property. User properties provide information like preferred language or geographical location of the users that interact with your website or app. Now that we have seen difference between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 properties, the question definitely arises. Can Google Analytics really bring success to your business? Well, if you have a good understanding of your audience and have extraordinary strategies to work on, the Google Analytics is your best companion. Here are some success stories by Google Analytics for users. We all know about McDonald's, the leading fast food corporation with a huge number of outlets across the globe. Recently, a case study has been shared by McDonald's Hong Kong, which suggests that the company has experienced growth in conversions by 550% through the in app orders. And what made them achieve such a great growth? Yes, you guessed it right. It's Google Analytics 4. Let's have a look on their success story. The major goal for the company was to redesign the strategy to increase in app food orders, predict the behavior of in app audiences, and reach the right customers with McDonald's mobile order campaigns. To achieve the goals, McDonald used a simple yet smart approach and implemented Google Analytics 4 properties. With the help of predictive audiences in Google Analytics 4 properties, they tried converting audiences into customers. Moreover, with the help of Google Ads, they were able to manage the campaigns. As a result of the smart efforts, McDonald was able to gain increase in conversions by 550% for the users who are likely to purchase in next 7 days. Isn't it amazing? Moreover, for the same audience, McDonald's had noticed a visible decrease in cost per action by 63% and an increase in revenue by 560%. Some other companies that have seen growth in their business through Google Analytics 4 includes PepsiCo, ClaroShop, etc. With the proven success of top brands in the world, let us know what the future of Google Analytics 4 holds. As per the reports on BuiltWit.com, there are 2 crore 81,52,477 live websites that are using Google Analytics. Out of which there are 1 crore 21 lakh 73,413 live websites from USA and 4 lakh 68,538 live websites from India who are using Google Analytics. If we look in detail, we have a list of big names like Bank of America, Blogger.com, Cisco, Netflix, Coursera. Flipkart, ICICI Bank, Tesla India, IRCTC, Mintra, etc. that are using Google Analytics for their growth. However, we are all well aware of the success stories of all the biggies on the list. Thus, Google Analytics will continue to be an important part of new business strategies. Things you should know before we end this session are Google Analytics 4 will be soon replacing Universal Analytics. From 1st July 2023, the Universal Analytics platform will be no longer in action. However, you will be able to access the reports for some period of time. Google Analytics 4 will be the new future of analytics. So here I would like to end this video with a hearty promise to come back with another interesting topic related to SEO. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel Simply Learn and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn.
Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned with us. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.